Hi there and welcome to Bustonet. Yes, these are the Staley Bridge Diaries, a chance for me to play the lower league safe. I actually have two playthroughs on the channel uh, and I tend to play with tactics that are similar with both teams. Um, Liverpool is the other playthrough and I tend to be a bit more experimental with them where I use uh, different kinds of tactics. I, I do crazy things uh, and then I try to see whether they can be done here. If we have a nice lead, I'll do that. Like we, we had this Galileo system that I was using. Um, and it was, um, it's a, well, it's a slightly different take on the 235, right? So basically, it looks like this. The Galileo 235 was very experimental. I had a lot of fun with it. But there was a, there was a period of time where we started conceding a lot of goals, so I stopped using it. The video should be out, or if it's not out, I'll just share the tactic with you guys. Uh, this is Red Faro. Um, which I also used, but I guess the Red Faro wasn't good enough for them because we lost a few games. So this is Galileo. It's a 2-3-5. Uh, has closed down. This guy is supposed to drop deep and then uh, he works He works with the two inverted wingbacks who push up into support duties in midfield. And they got wingers. Wingers. I, I, I rather have a, you know, a, a winger, winger, not like cutting inside. So I need, I need width. And then we got two ball playing defenders. That's the system we use, but unfortunately for us, I uh, conceded a lot of goals, so I stopped using it. Then we used the Red Faro for a while. Liverpool was using it. Then we did quite well with the Red Faro with uh, this team called Staley Bridge. And then suddenly, boom, lost to Chelsea and lost to Liverpool. Uh, we Basically, League Cup final, Chelsea kicked me out. And then the FA Cup semi-finals, Liverpool knocked me out. Now, we are going to the Champions League, and guess who we have to play? We have to play Spurs. It's five English sides into the Champions League. This is crazy. It could be a reflection of the modern day as well. Um, I do believe that English teams have the benefit of uh, television revenue. Uh, puts them in a fantastic position. They accrue value for players really quickly in England. So, like, they don't need to keep a player. I mean, I won't say they don't need to keep a player. They, they don't really need to sell a lot of their players. If they, can, uh, they can afford to hang on to the players and then wait for other clubs to come in and bid exorbitant sums for them. So things like 20-30 million for an average defender or 20-30 million for an average striker is like the going rate right now for English players or players playing in England. So they tend to accrue value very, very fast. And um, it's an interesting phenomenon. But here we have Liverpool playing Leverkusen, Napoli playing Bayern Munich, which is like the juiciest tie of them all. Arsenal playing juiciest because I wish I was playing either one of them. Then I got Arsenal playing United. Thank goodness I'm not playing Arsenal. Arsenal would have beaten me. Liverpool would have beaten me. Now I have to play Spurs. See, I'm not confident against either Liverpool or Arsenal. They're very strong in my save at the moment. Spurs, maybe. We've beaten them before, but we have our own issues, right? Our first choice pairings are not available. So we don't have the uh, first choice players. Uh, so if I go to this, see, Tuan Zibi needs a rest. So I'm going to have to send him on holiday. Um, I, I do all my holiday, holiday stuff from here. Uh, okay, training met. One week holiday over here. So you can, so we can send him for a holiday. Holiday. Where, where can I do this from? Rest. No. Let me go to training, medical center, or training. One of the I haven't been playing this game for a few days, so suddenly lost. Uh, there we go. Then on a holiday for one week. Yep, you miss these three games. I have no choice because after the after I play Spurs, I play City. Then I play Spurs again. I mean, I'm six points clear at the top of the table with a game in hand, or is it five points clear with a game in hand? Comfortably clear, but um. I gotta be careful of Arsenal and Spurs because they can they can really overhaul. I mean, once if I start losing, I'm gonna be open. Uh, they got one, two, three, four, five, five clubs who can who can catch up with. So uh, I I I shouldn't take anything for granted, right? So we're gonna play this game. We got our players. We got everything here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I know normally I play a pressing forward, but I might need a bit more, more movement in the final third. I'm gonna use the F. Okay, I'm gonna use a Trequatista. Right, so will drop the he doesn't have to do the split block, we'll get these guys to do all most of the work. And I'll get him to be a Trequatista. Trequatista is still also not a bad idea. Okay, we've got Greg Taylor with all these players available. 
and we're going into the match. Uh, Staley Bridge versus Spurs, inverted wing back, inverted wing back support, overlap left, work ball into box, counter, counter press. At home, we're going to do this. Standard line of engagement. I'm going to be quite compressed. Okay, this works. Because you know it's all theory, right? <laughs> I mean, idea is compression. So I'm hoping that it works. If it doesn't work, say la we. This team is definitely better than me, so I cannot expect any, like, magic, right? So if you're watching this guy, is that a hidden? My, my friends accuse me. When I play PlayStation, my friends, my friends are always looking for the, on the controller to see if there's an extra button. They call it my, D, my W button. Because apparently, they can take a 3-0 lead in some games and they lose 5-0 because I'll be beating them. So it's a running joke between me and my friends. So they probably uh, telling they probably if they see me watching this game probably gonna go where's your win button again? I don't know it doesn't always happen. Okay, this is a football manager. I mean, other games like FIFA and all are a lot easier. Bowler, Michelle losing inside the box. Gaitan, ah, oh, he does well. Okay, so so um, I'm playing with a, a, a okay. The thing here is this: I could have gone low defensive line, I could have gone low line engagement, but it's very very dangerous. Right, it's literally saying. Uh, let's invite them into our half and start pressing them. So I don't want that. We're at home, so I want to be a bit more aggressive at home and hope that we can score first. Oh, what a move. What a move. Free, but he couldn't bury the chance. So Steady Bridge asking all the questions. 80%, 20. We're using a track quatista, baby. He should hopefully drop deep and help our team through the... Uh, through the um, through the transition. So where is our Traquatista? <laughs> Let's find our Traquatista. He's gone missing. Can you see our Traquatista? He's taken the throw. So our track. So let's track our Traquatista. Track our Traquatista. And that should be the title. That should be the title of my next video. Tracking the Traquatista. Girard does well, but Zuno out the bowler again. It's still Calvin up. Bowler, come on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Gaetan is good. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal. They freed up the flags. Bolo overlapping. Or rather, he was a winger. Idiot. <laughs> okay, and then he drops in a cross. And then Gaetan had to try twice. And he scores. We have scored against Spurs. What a start. Ah, that's brilliant. Yes, we are all over Spurs at the moment. Michel Aluzio is madly. It's Gaeta. It's Calvinado with a shot, but it's blocked. Okay, we got Calvinado. Calvinado. It's, it's, it's Bowler. It's Cuesta. He tries to line up a shot. Cuesta again. Back to Aluzio. The roaming playmaker has to play back to Gerard. What a start from Staley Bridge. Using a Trequatista. We want a Trequatista. He drops deep, but then he's, he roams, and then he can be a new son. It's Gaeta. It's two. Oh my goodness. What has happened to Gaetan? Okay, go to the pub. I don't fucking care. Go to the pub. Have a drink. I'll pay the tab. <laughs> you don't have to come for training until the next Champions League match. <laughs> Holy shit. He scored two. Unbelievable. Facundo Gaetan has done it again. Oh man. Maybe he wants to leave the club. I don't care. Just get me to the Champions League final. Alright, so we're 2-0 up. Spurs have got no response. Could this be it? Could this be the day? Gerard reads that. Gaeta now. Oh, he does well. They keep the ball. Cuesta back to Gerard. Plays it back to the keeper. Keeper looks for options. He can't get the ball out. It's Taylor. It's in. Oh, Adla. What is this that guy's name? Adla Vision. Pause for a course. Let's look for that name again. Ada Wilson. Ada Wilson. Why can't you have a name like Getson Fernandez? Three. It's three. It's three nil. It's three nil. It's three nil. I struggled to beat Spurs 2-1 in our last match. But we are all over Spurs. It's three nil at the half. Spurs are falling apart. The demolition job on Spurs is being done. Yes, I love this tactic. I do. I swear I do love this. I got so many options. All I got to think about is if I play against a side that's very defensive, what do I do? It's really simple. If they are going to sit down, it's, you have to remember the two inverted wingbacks. They're just like wingbacks, right? What do you I mean? 
I'm playing one on defense and one on support. Isn't that a bit conservative? Of course, they're roaming. They're going to run all over the pitch. But if, they're going, if the other team doesn't want to come out and play, why do you want to play one on defense and the other one on support? Turn one to attack, one on support. That's it. And we get like real nice patterns as well. But okay, let's not get too excited. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're 3-0 up. I don't know what to say to my team. Our team talk. You might be winning. Don't let that happen. Do not screw things up. Okay, let's not confuse. They're playing well. Not there's no point in me demanding more. We're training up. What do you want? What do you want from me, my team? Yeah, okay, we're just gonna have to look at this action zones. I, action zones tell you a lot, and okay? it's so important to see the action zones. Five percent of the time, we are nine percent of the time we are attacking them. Big clue here. We're holding the ball in our half. We're holding the ball in midfield, and we are also spending more time attacking them in there. There's good numbers. Wendell Linden to call Reed Redwell. Oh yes, the compression is working today. We are compressed. Yes. No. No. Come on. Come on. Don't screw things up. Don't lose the ball there. Oh, they are under pressure. Now they have to bring the ball out. It's very, I'm being very naive with the way I'm playing. I should be I should actually think about removing the overlap shots, right? Because now I don't really need overlaps. We are leading. Why the hell do I want to overlap? Because I want to put four pass bursts. That's why. Man, my heart. I can't take this Mickey Mouse shit, man. Seriously. Okay, we gotta we gotta calm down here. We got I'm literally shouting into a microphone. Okay. I'm that excited. Okay, guys. Let's let's calm down here. Have a coke and a smile. Okay, yeah, sixty five minutes. Three nil up. Quarter finals of the Champions League. We got Girard, Gaetan, Nardone, Girard, Gaetan, Nardone. Oh, they worked the ball so well. Spurs are chasing ghosts <laughs> to Colina. Calvinado, Bola, look at Bola. What a ball for Martley! Oh my goodness. Okay, boys. I'd love vision. Okay, defend, defend, defend. No! No! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do I, I still don't want to remove overlap, underlap. Because they can they because the shouts themselves allow us to keep the ball. It's risky, but it allows me to keep the ball too. Because their initial positioning when we have the ball is higher. Okay, now I will change one duty. Uh, in fact, now I will uh, remove the shouts because we don't need to. Hopefully it works. I mean, I I don't know whether I should. Everything is working so well. Concentrate. First time using the shout. Never use concentrate. Makes sense, right? Concentrate. Don't lose the lead. Where's body language? Is that such a thing? Tottenham body language? Who the fuck cares about Tottenham's body language? Uh, excuse my language. South Stadium Bridge. I don't even know my own team. Okay. Oh, right. I knew it, no? Overwhelmed by the feedback. Shouldn't have said anything. You know, if you're, you're playing well, just shut the hell up. <laughs> don't do any, like, don't become a Pep Guardiola. Yes! They've done it. What? They predicted a win for Spurs and maybe could have seen Staley Bridge snatching a draw. I certainly didn't see Staley Bridge Celtic winning this. Yes. Nobody usually does. Because I've got the magical W button on my keyboard. Alright, so this is cool. Staley Bridge Celtic. I'm so happy. I am beside myself. Passing combinations, steady bridge Celtic. I'm looking for the track Batista. This is lucky monthly. So no no pass combinations. That's a bit disappointing, right? So if I want to confirm this, I look here. So how much of a game did he have? Mm. We got the two. Oh my goodness, the central defender and the the two the central defender and the inverted wing back, and then the Facundo Gaetan and uh, the inverted wing back. So basically, the biggest passing combinations were between this guy and this guy. Right, so these are the biggest ones. And then the next biggest ones was between this guy and this guy. No, no, no. Right. This guy and this guy. So this is a huge, these are huge passing combinations. I got, I got Martinovic and Colina. I got Aluzio and Nardone. I got Girard and Facundo Gaetan. Girard is the uh, fullback here. 
Where is he? Girard and Facundo Gaetan. But Girard was such... So this this is why I want my inverted wing back so high up the pitch. This is the reason why I use overlap. See, people ask me this question, why do you use overlap? Right? They, you, I will hear things from a lot of people. People are going to say it's risky, it's ridiculous. You know, why are you using overlap? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, seriously, the only reason why I'm using it as a risky thing to do is because I just want them high up the pitch so that they become... You know, they, they become link players, right? So if I used any other role, I wouldn't get the effect. So here, this this inverted wing by 88 pass going combinations. On the left flank, I got 53 because the defend duty is actually lower than the support duty. So you can see the support duty is quite hard, but what a day he was having, man. So he linked up play with uh, Aluzio. He linked up play with Jacopo Nardone and he linked up play with the man of the moment. And then uh, we... Lucky multi pass combination. I, I I'm trying to figure out why is I, so this this line between lucky multi and somebody, it won't be here. There lucky multi and Facundo Gaetan. These two were linking up really well. Uh, lucky multi was uh, linking up with Facundo Gaetan, which is something that was that was sweet on the road. So what I can see from this is, then you see lucky multi linking up with um passing combination. So there's an error in this. There's a bit. So it's better for you to check. You see. He says zero pass combinations, but if we come in here, uh, we'll see that Lucky Malti had passing combinations with uh, Facundo Gaetan and Lucky Malti had passing combinations with George Bowler, which is something that I wanted to see. So he managed to get passing combinations with them, and then Lucky Malti had some passing combinations with the roaming playmaker. Uh, so then we look at uh, analysis of players, right? So here we look at passes and then receive passes for Lucky Malti. Lucky Malti was our our um, trequartista. So he received quite a lot of power. You can see his influence is all over the pitch. It's good. Wow, what, this must be must have been an interesting pass. Keitan comes in and oh, there Lucky Malti. Goes wide with the ball. So I tend to look at this one a lot. So he had Lucky Malti had two key passes as well. So this is uh Something that he was doing in the game. So this play was played to Malti and oh, what a pass to Gaetan. So this is something that I want to see. So, you know, these are like, how what the, what value does he bring to the team? Malti, this is why I use the Trequatista. So the Trequatista was absolutely sensational in this game. He played a really good game and Josh Bolo also had a very, very good game. So I had a lot of players playing key passes and the key passes is uh, how we unlock this Spurs team Spurs team. So, and then uh, if I'm looking at teams again, then I remove key, key pass combinations. Then I'm looking, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm just sharing all these with you so that, you know, if you ever have to do the same in your games, you know you know what to look for. So here, if you look at all my shots, I didn't have a long shot. Every shot was inside the box. Something that, you know, is not easy to do, but we managed to get, do it with a lot of movement. So I reckon the missing ingredient for us was the Trequatista. The thing is, the thing here is, the funny thing is, a lot of these roles are making sense to me because I started writing the role guides, right? So, uh, I might, I've done my first draft of the role guides already. So, that it's like, I've covered everything from defenders to shadow strikers to registas to segundo volantes to the tracotista. So I was writing it up about the tracotista and then comparing to the shadow striker and then to the playmaker. I was thinking to myself, yeah, but you know, the movement is... Once you start realizing there are certain commonalities between the tracotista, the shadow... I mean, I'm not saying that they play the same, but the tracotista drops quite deep, right? During the build-up play, as you, get, you, as you saw there. And then if he has the eye for the pass, check out the pass that he's going to make. So we saw what uh, Matli was doing with that and it helped us uh, completely destroy Spurs. Arsenal have beaten Manchester United as well. And uh, we've got... My goodness. Look at this, man. Gaetan, the man who gets... A, he, the, this guy just does this to freaking turn... I mean, knowing him, right? So once he said to begin with, thank you, go and have a rest. I, because Facundo Gaetan has been fined by me, uh, I think twice for missing. I mean, he he's gone to the bar a few times, right? So, but he's only missed training twice because uh, literally he missed the match. So he went to the bar, and I couldn't play him in the next game. So I find him. Roma have accepted an offer of twenty six million for Alias Alias 
Alessio Riccardi. Yeah, I'm looking for another uh, player uh, to play. Why would I want to sign this guy? It is the things I do in my head. Um, I want to get another Mazala for my team. Uh, he's got flair. He's got dribbling of 12, first touch of 14, balance and agility. Not that bad. Tries killer balls, dictates tempo, uh, runs with ball often. I have to think about this, okay? Uh, no, you're going to be a rotation player. Take it or leave it. Right. Let's see if he takes the offer. And we'll walk away. All right. So I'm not... I, I want to strengthen the squad as well in the in the next few weeks. So there we go. Champions League 3-0 winners over Spurs. We have our mix match against City. Then we return against... Uh, we have a return leg against Spurs. And then we go into the business end of the season where we have a f quite a few away matches and hopefully we do the deed. So the one that we do with our little tactic, all we did was we changed our a false nine into a trequatista. There are many variations to a four one two three. I'm not suggesting that mine is the best, but I'm sure you're gonna come up with your own variations. But there's so many ways for you to play this. The whole goal here is the the key thing for the variation that I have is how I get the inverted wing backs to be a key part of our key pass combinations. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Steely Bridge Diaries. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I want to thank all my patrons for their continued support this channel. You make these kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.